Welcome, friends, to the Hearts of Iron 4 Commonwealth game. We're just underlings at this point, so we have to speak like we're... Oh, oh, Hi, uh, yeah. yes, yes, master. Hi, whatever you, whatever you demand. My country is controlled oh, by another we're just country. A, we're just puppets <laughs> with little puppets. <laughs> My master so, country. Ooh. One day we will be free. No, no. So, oh, no. Once we, once we unpuppet, we're going to kick some fucking ass. That's Explain right. who we, what we're doing here and who we are. Okay. I'm the British Raj. Wow. Okay. Uh, Lewis is Australia. 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 And Sips is South Africa. Oh, my God. South Africa. So um, in a, a, a note here. The, for the first time in Team Double Dragon history, well, Team... Triple. It doesn't matter anyway. No. Uh, yeah. We're using a mod in this game, and it's the oh, road yeah. to fifty-six, and uh, it gives you these n new tabs in your research. And I'm overwhelmed. Well, it's a lot of there's stuff. There's a lot of icons here that I've never seen before, and I'm sweating. Well, yeah. We, I'm the last game we played was um, Spain, Portugal, Italy, right? And we yeah. pretty much conquered everything. We, we actually we thought we'd come back to it, but we decided to start a new one. Um, so this time we're going to be the Commonwealth. There, there was a DLC that added trees to the Commonwealth countries. You see, so last time when we were playing in Spain and Portugal, this Road to 56 mod actually adds uh, special national focus trees to those countries. And I was thinking this time we'd end up picking something funny, you know, like some, some weird countries. But no, something we've, picked, unusual. we've picked countries that have had trees officially added to them by the official game. Yeah, so we yeah, don't yeah. really even need the mod, but... You know well, what? no, no, that's not true, because the mod does add a whole bunch of new tech and new events, and because there's new um, there's new stuff for the AI to do, it's more interesting. Mm. New things happen, and it does get a little funky, let's put it that way. Nice. Uh, um, it's also, you know, it, it's, it's just a bit, it's a bit fresh, and it goes to 1956. Fresh. Instead of ending sooner, and you've got, like, more, there's just more cool stuff you can do, it's so I, I do recommend it very much. Fresh hardly. and exciting fresh yeah so it's exciting to me do you want to give us a little rundown of who you're playing as and what sure. what, what their history is and like anything am, or uh, do you want to <clears throat> the british raj uh india obviously conquered by the british we are now a puppet of uh, our glorious masters in britain uh led as we are by lord linlithgow um but you know, we're a bit, a bit rebellious some some of the colonies are getting a little bit a uh, little bit rebellious and i worry they might form their own cricket playing faction and defeat us <laughs> at uh, cricket. routinely at cricket <laughs> so i'm thinking that we should form uh cricket boys or something like that the right. cricket boys uh, oh, uh, I well see. i come from a heavy cricketing nation known to some people as south africa a little place called south africa mm -hmm. um i'm currently part of the commonwealth but i'm not actually controlled i oh no i'm a, i'm a dominion i have to uh. I have to change my autonomy level to become free of the crown, uh, which is um, the UK. So you're so. a Dominion. What am, what am I? You am are I, also I'm a, a Dominion. I'm also a Dominion. What are yeah. you, P-Flex? Uh, We're a blasted puppet, I think. <laughs> Some kind of blasted puppet. We're a colony. <laughs> um, so I have, a, I have a focus in my tree to abandon Westminster. And then I can go even more ham on it all uh, if I want to. I can become communist and I can burn the king's portraits at some point. Oh, my God. God. And I could go even further and I could um, liberate the Portuguese colonies and um, do a bunch of shit. I can invite Soviet advisors. I could also join uh, the Axis if I want to. Oh, I could God. support Hitler and the Nazis if I if I so wish. Uh, well. Or I could just uh, stay in the Commonwealth. I think I can still um, become n a non-Dominion, but I could stay with the British or just say fuck it. And now go, here's the question, chaps. What direction do we want to take? Um, good question. Do we want to go communist or do we want to conquer the communists? Do we want to be democratic? Do we want to form our own thing over here? Do we want to try and take out Japan and China and just conquer the whole of Asia? Well, well we like... don't know what, what's going to happen with the war. We don't know who's going to, how, how we're going to get, when we're going to get drawn in, if we're going to have to fight for England at all. You know, we, we got our own interests to look out for, be flex. Yeah. You know, I've got the Australian people. We don't want another... And never another Gallipoli P-Flax. 
I feel True, like but we, there's a lot we of... We just don't have to fight those guys. We I, could have a Gallipoli somewhere else. I feel heavily oppressed on my continent here by <laughs> mainly the Allies. I mean, there are Italians here too, and... But, I mean, ideally for me, I would love to just conquer all of Africa. You could just strike out the word South and just call yourself Africa. Like, that's how big you could get. That's, uh, one, that's what I want. Uh, you know, I, Africa, I want... Yeah. I want Madagascar. I've seen all yeah. the movies. I feel like ah. it should be mine. Um, you know, <laughs> so I think I'm going to end up having to fight the UK at some point, whether we're in our own faction or not. I think. I think. Are, are we going to go fascist? Hmm. Do we want to be fascists? Whoa, 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 um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's just slow down. Let's slow down there. <laughs> whoa, okay. Sorry. Sorry. We, we always whoa. go fascist. You're like the don't crazy we? brother. Uh, there's like there's like three, <laughs> three little brothers, like, you know, little British brothers. Can I help out? Canada's a brother as well, but he's the weird one that no one likes. He smells funny. He's over up there yeah. drinking maple syrup in like gallons. I mean, we're not going to talk about Canada. That's um, racist. And and so yeah, we're, we're, we're daddy, daddy, daddy UK, mummy UK. We have supported them for a long time. They're good to us. They've been good to us. Very good. They're our yeah. friends. But They're we don't chums. like France so much. We got family there, right? You know, France. They smell. They smell of garlic and cheese as well. They smell a bit that's, funny. Jesus. I mean, that's where the that's where the Canadian. That's why the Canadians smell a bit funny because they got that bit of France, like a little know, bit of France. Yeah. yeah. So oh, the music is like. I don't know if it's soaring on you guys is uh, audio. It's starting to soar. Yeah, it's it. it I've can turned detect, off my music. It can oh. detect that that there's some some sort of revolution afoot, and yeah, now the music the... is getting more and more dramatic, and it's saying, "Sips, conquer Africa, <laughs> do it." <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, you know what, game? Yes, I will do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Oh, jeez. Okay. So are we good? Sure. So what do, what do we want to do then? Do we just want to fight I wanna, our own I want faction? My own, I want to take over Asia. Okay. I'm gonna, we're going to form our own fucking faction. All right, fuck it. Lulu's going to take over the whole of the Pacific. God I'm fucking it. abandoning I'm gonna, Westminster then. Whoa, 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 excuse me. You've been outvoted, sir. Now, if you want, you can form your own fucking thing, and I'll come over there and shit down your neck. Let's uh, let's make our own fucking communist faction. For old and... times' sake, this is for Belgium and France. Okay, I'm just saying, if you fuck with us again, Lewis, I'm gonna cuck the shit. Hey, do you want to fucking fight, P Flex? Because I'm up. I... Yeah, let's fucking do it. You fucking you fucking coming up? You can. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm not, I can't Australian. do it in the United States. I'm doing it Australia. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking <laughs> bitch! Fucking cunt! You fucking cunt! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you stupid bitch! Oh my god, tips do not. Oh my god. No, I think that's I'm not gonna no do more him. offensive than what we're doing, I guess. With you the are Australian well, I think it is. I'm not gonna do like Apu. Come for on, the he's fucking. Run. He's legitimately Indian. Well, it's not even <laughs> making fun of Indians. God. <laughs> ah, sips. Gentle <clears throat> sips. All right. I'm just I'm, gonna I'm, hold. I'm gonna abandon Westminster. Yeah, fucking Fuck nice. Them. But the away. thing is, it sets me down a tree of either uh, pro-Nazi stuff or pro-communism. I, I mean, if I support the policy of appeasement, I can do some different stuff. But I don't know if that's just gonna like. I don't know. Dude, well, let's be communists this time. Jesus, yeah, let's stop it? being fascists. Let's go fucking commie. I'm All gonna right. go communist. Fuck it, I'm doing it. I want to kill the Japanese and I want to kill. The Germans and all those bad guys. Right, gotcha. Right, gotcha. yeah. I mean, this is the one. The one for me is is definitely like the far right tree for me is the one which is difficult. You know, because we can we can empower the workers. We can be we can be commie. We got basically you can be anything now. Right. Um. But you know, I mean, I don't want another Gallipoli. Gallipoli was bad. Um. I played Battlefield One a little bit. Right. Um. And there was the there was a Gallipoli on there. I don't know if you saw. Basically, Gallipoli is um, this place here, right? On right. the, is it here? Like, I think it's either here or here. So it's, it's in. It's the way to the. It's um, around Turkey, ain't the it? The Black Sea, um, and basically, in World War One, we sent a lot of um, a lot of Australian boys, a lot of Anzac troops, to their deaths on the beaches of Gallipoli yeah. for for it's very a little reason. Massacre. A lot yeah, of young men. Turned out the the Turks were were pretty good fighters. It was a bit of a um, mess. 
Yeah. We made them get off the landing craft in just their bathing suits. We didn't give them any equipment. <laughs> they were all oiled up. And they're flip-flops. We tried to... I think, it was, I think it was one of those deals where they had a British general as well, because that's normally the way it went, is we were like, can't have an Australian leading troops. We're going to lead them ourselves. And then we just sort of got them all killed. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty yeah. sure. If not, then then well played us. Our history isn't super up to date on that, I'm it's afraid. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. World War One is not really my bag. Maybe I'm we should like try and turn this series into a history lesson. <laughs> where we learn history. I mean, not, not where we Probably teach it. Probably not. Oh, where I we, see. Yeah, I was going to say. Okay. Yeah, nice. That I could get along what with. What should I do? Should I abandon the Westminster sister as well? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I quite like being diplomatic. I'm going to exercise my troops so that I can get some um, points so that I can edit mm. my, my divisions. That's a thing, right? Mm-hmm. I, I took a lot of criticization last time because <laughs> people are like, he's training his troops forever, but I was trying to get the points. I wanted to edit my stuff, so I was ready, you, you know? To, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good, that's a good plan. The you thing should do is, that. The thing is, you do use up equipment. Yeah, but when you're doing it. I mean, I, so I, if you're doing it all the time, you're just using up equipment all the time and your your troops will permanently be under but, stocked. Yeah, but, sometime, but if you're not yeah, fighting, yeah. you don't get the experience. You can't do the edits, right? So well, like, yeah, the best true. way to get some experience is actually to just do like one of the um one of the trees cuz one of some of them give like this one gives plus 5 army they give experience. You HP. Right. Yeah. This one gives plus 5 army experience. So you can if you know you want to just Put like if you need, you just need ten experience to add two artilleries to your infantry division. You can right. just take those two ones, and then you don't have to do any training. Right. Sadly, we can't go up to five speed. It won't let me. Right. Is that because we're too laggy? Too laggy. So old New Zealand, of course, is is Australia's old pal. They're 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 like the younger little brother of Australia, who are kind of they always get lumped in with Australia. You know, it's always the Anzacs, isn't it? You know. Australia and New Zealand, kind of. But I feel like they got the short straw, New Zealand. Mm. There was the the forgotten about one. The one who's like chewing... You think they're, chewing, they're um, overlooked? Chewing on like a flipping, I don't know, rubber. Right. <laughs> chewing like a on a rubber. On a condom. <laughs> it's like the kid eating glue at the back. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, like, I see. I think that's that's cold. I, I've known a lot of Kiwis. <laughs> oh, no, I know. I agree. But like, the if, weird if, thing is, <laughs> but if it's like, they if, all get the hell out of New Zealand as soon as possible if they want to have any kind of job. Because I mean, it's a lovely place. It's beautiful, but I, I believe the economy is pretty bad. Although it's it's not as terrible as it seems. But I think the thing is, if you speak English and you've been exposed to like American and English and Australian culture and everything, you see these countries that are much bigger and have more money, and you kind of think, I wouldn't mind a piece of that. So you just get on a plane and, and fuck off. Because mm. they all, you know, they all love their country. I'm sure they'd love to be able to do whatever they do in New Zealand, but there's just a serious lack of opportunity. New Zealand's awesome and it's beautiful. And I think there's lots of things to do there. I really like to go. Yeah. That's, that's it's like number one on my list of places to go. Actually, being in Lord of the Rings was a big one. Oh um, God, yeah, I'd love to be in Lord of the Rings. I wanted to be Bilbo Baggins, cooking uh -huh. some bloody eggs for your wife-beating husband. That was another one. Wow! Mm, if you haven't seen that movie, mm, I don't, I don't know what it's called. What we reference? were warriors or something. We were. It's a, oh. it's, a, it's a film, very famous Kiwi movie. What Cook about me some bloody eggs? What woman. about Romper Stomper? That was a very famous. That was British, wasn't it? Kiwi movie as well. No, that was. Didn't a... it have Tim Roth in it? No, Romper Stomper was the one that had Russell Crowe in it, and he was a skinhead. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I was thinking of the. There was a. There is a Tim Roth as a skinhead movie. I can't remember oh, what it's right, called. Okay. So you have put it on veteran difficulty again, P Flex. Thank oh, you for doing yes. that. Oh yes, that's all right. I know. Have you boosted I know you like any it of hard. the majors to be stronger or weaker? No, no, no. no you no, just no, left no. them all as normal. Right, we're right. not going to have any any issues with that. Um, no. Yeah. So, so I think Australia should. Uh, I'm not. I'm not convinced. I'm. I'm obviously very strong about never having another Gallipoli. I think that the Australian people shouldn't have to go and um, get 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 commanded by British troops to die. Um, but you know we're independent now, but I think that don't know whether we should protect our homeland. Well, we're not independent yet. Mm. We're not. We're not quite there yet. You can. We still have some work to do. There is a. There's an option here to become. See, I'm. We're. We're much more likely to be able to become free than you are, P Flex. Me in South Africa. Yeah. Nah, I'm fine, mate. Well, you're a puppet, right? You're a no. puppet. No, nope. you it's worse than puppet. That. No, no. We're a colony. 
You're a colon. It's even worse yeah. than that. So colonies no, are... No, because we're going to move up to Dominion is the next thing we move up to. Right. right. See, we're already right. at Dominion, though, Flax. That's why we're ahead. Yeah, all right. Well, we're, you know... We're getting out of this... This we're, good, we're getting out of this oppressive you, shithole before you. Well, we're trying. All right, we're trying. All right, well... We're, we're getting there. Give me that. Start start on us, bastards. Jeez. Mm. Well, maybe I should, like, buddy uh, up with England, actually. They're, they're good lads. Don't you know? buddy up with England. Come on, what are you thinking? Yeah. Come on, what are you doing? What oh, look, all right, Lewis, I, I sense mischief in your voice. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Like, <laughs> I want to see wanna what happens in the in world. Do you want to be in the Allies and just sit down there and go, oh, I don't want to be brave, I want to be coward. That's not the Australian way. All no. Right? They're bold. That's right. Yeah, but they're, they're risk takers. They are, but they're, they're not. Natural sportsmen and women. <laughs> they outpunch their weight. <laughs> all right? Yeah. They've got most of their country. You, it's not even that you can't build a house there. If you go in it, you die. That's 90% of Australia. And yet they are still a thing. That's true. And they, they have overcome the adversity of being stuck in a country where most of it is uninhabitable. They've got and they've just dingoes said, everywhere. It. Yeah. We're going to bloody go swimming and surfing in the shark infested waters, <laughs> eating spiders and getting destroyed <laughs> by spiders. giant. Kangaroos, mate. Wallabies. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Those cunts. <laughs> That's them. They've done it all. That is Bless Australia. Them. That's me. That's okay. So I need to play like a crazy Australian with a big knife. Big knife. Yeah. Oh, mate. Call that a knife. Oh, ripper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Call that a knife. Poor Australia. Nobody understands them. Everybody just thinks it's a nation filled with crocodile dundies. <laughs> every every man in Australia is crocodile dundee, and every woman in Australia is, um, is screaming Nicole about Kidman? dingoes eating their babies. Oh, uh, that's it. Either the dingoes are eating them, or they're dating American women and pulling out their big knives. That's it's it. True. Fucking. Why is the Chinese People's Republic in orange? Um, had I clicked on it? Oh, I'd clicked on it. Okay. No, it's orange. No, for me no, as it's well. orange for me too. It's got it's orange with lines through it. What does it mean? Shit! What mean? What could this possibly does it mean? mean? Oh, it's weird. Not. I don't know. Oh, what oh that my means. god! Something's a foot. Something. It's something spicing up. Is a foot. Oh, Are you got? Have I got? Is there new music in this game? Sips. I turned my music off. Yeah, I've got some music really, really on, I rousing music. Yeah, it's different. I'll turn my music on. I think if you're playing um, uh, one of the newer countries that got like a focus tree, there's new music for them as well. Uh, right. I'm, just get, got, I'm I getting wish I had some like sitar music. music. I want to have sitar music when we get free. We don't have this pompous British shit they've forced on us as a colony. I want to have some Ravi Shankar up in this bitch. Get in here, Ravi. Who am I going to let me listen to? Fucking Waltzy Matilda and Kylie Minogue. Jesus. It's truth. What am I going to be listening to? Like Toto. That's it. <laughs> Just fucking non-stop Toto. By the way, the Italians are really struggling in Ethiopia. Why? They've been though? at war there for quite some time. Who cares? Fuck them. They're the, the only enemy. fucking South African um, music I could think of is De Antwoord. You oh, know, God. That, that crazy fucking rap set set up yeah. with that creepy, creepy girl. And I know people that love them. Really? I don't love them. I think they're garbo. I'm sorry, South Africans. I know that's your big claim to fame. To Toto's song about your country, obviously, and the Antwoord. But, you know, you made Chappie. So, to me, your nation is... is, is you're dead to me. I always you made think the movie of Chappie. Um, District 9. Yeah. As well. Same guy. Great, great movie. Great movie. He makes District 9, and then he makes that god-awful film with uh, Matt Meathead Damon in, which was awful. And right. then he made... Chappy, which was fucking awful, and I'm just thinking, come on now, you gotta, you gotta produce. Stop making garbage. You gotta make something good, or I'm gonna, I'm done with you. Yeah. Your whole nation. Let that be a word of warning to you. <laughs> yeah. Appease me. <laughs> if you value or your die. street cred at all, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>